we are getting close. That's right, about a year ago, I said that we would be more likely to be doing this than this in the year 2028. And the last piece of the puzzle has just been filled in and I'm confident that we're gonna make that goal. The missing piece is the humane AI pin that came out to eh, a little bit of fanfare, but I'm celebrating it for what it isn't, not for what it is. Let me explain. If you don't know, the humane AI pin is a virtual AI assistant. So I was all on board with it because, you know, obviously AI is going to help in so many different ways. People kind of move throughout their lives. He, he basically made this little brick that you put on and it has a camera and a microphone and it can identify things. You can ask it questions. And I was all on board with the mission until he said this. The future will not be held in your hand and it won't be on your face either. Obviously, screens are going to be a big part of our lives and, and we know that. He knows it as well, or else they wouldn't have a camera to take videos and pictures in the pin. I'm not sure where he thinks those are going to be displayed. But anyways, why I'm excited about it is because what it did is it decoupled the phone capabilities from the actual phone. It's important because in order to meet the timeline of smart glasses being ubiquitous by 2028, meaning that more people kind of are using them to go about their business than they are using phones in that timeline. It's because the two other pieces are already in place and are being worked on. The first one is AR. Now, AR right now is only basically visible through your phone. So any cool thing you see, you're actually seeing a recording of what somebody's looking at through the phone. When AR and smart glasses collide, it's going to look like you're looking at these things. The data that you're going to get from looking through these smart glasses are going to help you tremendously. And there's going to be information, there's going to be graphics, there's going to be directions. Once the smart glasses get in everybody's eyeballs, that part is going to be ready to go. It's going to you know, be like a light switch. You just turn it on. The second part is the smart glasses. And as we all know, Companies like View6, Meta, and other companies are already aggressively making cool-looking smart glasses, ones that you want to wear, and I would say View6 is kind of leading the charge. What they are doing is they're still using the electronics in the phone to do some of the heavy lifting, connecting to the internet, you're using some processing power, and all that stuff, so they can keep the electronics in the smartphone small and the batteries longer. But that is where we really need big advancements. And that's where the third key, the most important key that just happened is that humane AI pin, basically taking a phone out of a phone and just using the guts to do things. So now we, we're gonna be able to miniaturize that. We're gonna be able to use smart glasses without your phone. That's the, that's the next logical step in getting rid of the phone is making sure you don't need it. When all three of these things come together, which they are starting to, they're gonna create a product that we haven't seen since the last three things came together to create the almighty smartphone. And those things were obviously the camera. We always used to have to carry around a camera. We used to carry around um, a music player and we used to carry around a phone. And when Apple blew up the world, by introducing the iPhone, which combined all of those. These are not three separate devices. This is one device. And we are calling it iPhone. Today, today Apple is going to reinvent the phone. That's exactly what's going to happen with the smartphone. When somebody gets them all together and gets it right, it's going to be seismic shift in the way that we get our information, process our information, phone, make phone calls, see the world. And I, for one, think that tipping point is going to come in 2028. Let me know what you think. Please, I'm trying to get to 5,000 subscribers by the end of 2024. Like and subscribe. And uh, it, would do, it would do a ton to help me out and keep making uh, insightful videos like this. So I appreciate it. And let me know what you think in the comments.